The press told President Biden, if you don't get inflation under control, your presidency will suffer a fate worse than death. You retired too? Not me. I'm in my prime. And President Biden was like, oh, come on, man. How, how could you even tell if I have a face worse than death? If Edwards gets wind of this, he'll use it against you in the campaign. He'll try to prove that you're incompetent. I can prove that as well as he can. Yeah, it's impossible. Because death always keeps his face hidden behind that giant hood. Yeah, I should know. I saw death just last night while he was checking his watch. Little hand says it's time to rock and roll. I was right next to him and I still couldn't see his face. From the Pentagon, sir. We just decoded it. Oh, good. Here, help me with this. My eyes are ceramic. A bazooka round, a little big one. Oh, was it Okinawa? The one without the Indians. It's the final orders. We strike tomorrow at 0600. Excellent. Wake me up at 0530. Not face. Fate. Fate worse than death, the press corrected. Well, gentlemen, we've waited a long time to hear this. In exactly five hours and 17 minutes, we hit the enemy toast. I think that's the enemy coast, sir. Huh? Coast? I'll take a little more planning, but it doesn't matter. And President Biden was like, well, I don't know. Death was looking like he was in pretty good shape to me. Now, if you have trouble hitting your objective, your secondary targets are here and here. An accordion factory and a mime school. I mean, after checking his watch, he did some calisthenics, swinging his sickle repeatedly at about shoulder level. I mean, honestly, Death looks like he's in such good shape, he could probably decapitate someone with that swing. Good luck, gentlemen. Blink, take over. Oh, there's one more thing. Never mind, I'll get that. It's probably for me. 